Uh, wrong way. Okay, it's um, it's the morning right now. We've got highway highway one just there. Literally the road. That is the Pacific Coast bike route. And we got we got the the waves, the California waves over there. Yesterday I think could have been even though it was the most like mentally brutal day from like having to wake up in the rain and get out and ride in the rain and what the hello is that an animal or is that just like some sort of weird some sort of weird noise coming out of there anyway I kind of just purse it on the puncture as well like just persevered and it really was worth it and today my legs are feeling a bit sore it's 9am now, wait, 8 or 9am? It's 9am now, we've got about 170-ish miles, 250k to San Francisco. I'm gonna do it in two days, two big days. See how far I get today before the sun sets. Wild camp off the road, somewhere beautiful on the beach, hopefully. And then yeah, we're gonna be in San Francisco and there's a Halloween party in the place I'm staying when I get there. So I'm gonna be going as a zombie cyclist because I'm gonna be fried. I'm gonna be like, hey guys, and they're gonna be like, that's such a good costume. I'll be like, it's me. Anyway. Okay, breakfast is served. Thank you, Allison. What are we going here? Oatmeal. What's, what's oatmeal? Okay. Dried fruit. Dried fruit. Apples. Apples. Fresh apples. Fresh Walnuts. apples. Chia seeds. Walnuts. Chia seeds. Cinnamon. Salt. A little bit of sugar. Vegan butter. And love. Love. That's the that's the most important ingredient. <laughs> Finishing off the bread from yesterday with some 100% peanut butter. Oh, what's that? 232. Yeah, only 300 kilometers to San Francisco. Easily do that in two days now. <laughs> cool. Thank you so much. Yeah, have a good one. See you. We made it out. We need to go to the bike shop, get some inner tubes, go to Safeway, get some grub for the next few days. I'm thinking bagels, guys. Those bagels were good. I tell you what, right? It's just because I haven't had much internet connection. I haven't had much like sheltered space the last few days. So it was kind of just nice just to chill out, talk to my mates back home. You know, and just feel comfortable. The um, entire climbing to get to San Francisco is the same amount of total climbing I did just yesterday. It's a lot flatter. There is one big, <laughs> there is one big hump to get over. Hey mate. Right. Wee, we're riding, baby. What's what sort of time do you call this, huh? I just, I, you know, I just, just, just chilling, man. Just chilling, you know, there's no rush. <laughs> it's only 273, whatever. It's so funny I bumped into you guys. I was kind of like, I hope I, I hope I dodge them. So like, I'm not like embarrassed. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> but we found a tattoo museum. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's cool. So we spent an hour in there talking to the guy. That's awesome. Cool. Yeah. How far do you think you uh, Maybe 40 miles, I don't know. 40 or 50. I really want to get to San Francisco tomorrow, so. We'll see what's gonna happen. Oh, yeah, good luck with your journey. You. <laughs> nice to meet you guys. Take yeah. care. Good luck. See you around. Um, be safe. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I don't know how like long it took me to get out of bed and get going. <laughs> so funny. Anyway, look at this. We're riding down. It's amazing. Nice little beaches around here. Apparently, this is the last bike shop until San Francisco. So. We don't want to be chanting it with the flats. I was looking for two 700C inner tubes, pressed a valve. That's all I'm looking for. <laughs> oh, you're looking for two. Yeah. How wide? Uh, tw I've got 28s. 28s? Uh, it's extra weight in it. <laughs> you want me to recycle it? Yeah, recycle it'd be good. Uh, but yeah, Manchester, the beach is closed. But you could do some stealth camp there, and then the KOA is right next door to it. 
Cool, is it alright if I just grab this pummel massage real quick? Yeah, Cheers, thank cool. you. Well, nice guys, give me all these directions and let me borrow the pump outside. Damn, the front was only on 60. No wonder I found yesterday tough. Should be easy today now. We got San Francisco on the horizon, I can feel it. I can feel it, baby. Safe way. Get those bagels. I think we're gonna fuel, just right in. I think we're gonna fuel up enough for uh, for the next two days, so I don't need to worry about stopping anywhere. Look at this, we've got new flavors of Arizona to try. It's got honey, we can't have it. Damn it. We've got uh, the classic watermelon grape aid. No honey, no honey. In the Californian supermarket, just like a food shop. You got like typical like beach cruiser California style bikes just sitting here. It's like it's a it's like it's a food shop apart from these six bikes. They're just on a bridge. Surf style. Seasonal. Bunch of bagels. Bunch of Arizona, bunch of cliff bars. Oh, what's this? Coke. My backpack is... It's getting pretty big right now, I'm pretty heavy. Today is a time trial. Race in the sunset, <laughs> like always. But I think we got a tailwind and these roads are quick. Just like... Undulating. Guys, I just filmed me all, almost fucking. That was fucking crazy. My front rim just exploded, and it couldn't have happened in a in a worse a spot, I guess. That's what happens when you uh, ride your rims till they're like worn out. That was I can't believe I was filming that. I'm so glad I was filming that because that was some good bike handling. I was in the zone. I was Parkway driving it time trial in it man look at this is a, this is a steep little bit of road and it was a corner and that was this was the steep drop off the edge which i could have gone over but let's check out the damage guys i hope i hope the tire's still okay wait a minute what the fuck what the fuck that's the braking set oh maybe it just grinded down yeah there's a brake wall right there so uh yeah I just I bought this um, this rim second hand. Yeah, I've been using it for work a lot and obviously touring is a huge strain on the bike because of all the weight, all the downhills. So yeah, I guess the rim just decided to, uh, to give up. Yeah, it looks like we're gonna have to get internet somehow and contact Allison and Bruce or hitch a ride back to Fort Bragg, which I think pretty much everyone's going to because this, this is the biggest town on this little stretch. And then get a new front wheel. This is just fuck, this is, <laughs> can you, can you, actually you can't, let's, let's give, give me a shout out for my, my bike handling there. That was like, it exploded. I quickly realized what was happening. I was distracted by the view, but I was like, oh shit. So I, I held, I just held the wheel straight. Didn't brake heavily on the front. I just the back I just slowly brake break to reduce speed and that's how you do it guys that's how pros do it but yeah I don't think I'm going anywhere today I think I think that's my riding for today done San Francisco isn't looking like Saturday maybe this is the punishment I get for being lazy I've learned my lesson replace your rims when they start to feel quite indented we got no brakes set no sidewall remaining yeah look at that guys I mean 
That's a uh, yeah. Your boy, your boy, your boy stayed afloat. And this as well. I'm surprised the wheel didn't like just completely like freeze up. So yeah, that was a um, close call on uh, Highway One. Check headlights. Also check your rims, guys. So I need a spot which is on the right hand side of the road, and someone has enough space to pull in, see me, decide that, that guy looks cool and British and uh, good at bike handling, um, and decides to pick me up. Luckily it's sunshine, the rain stops, so that's pretty good. Surprise the guys when I come back and I'm like, hey guys, uh, I'm back. Yeah, I made it 25k. Yeah, and then my tire exploded, my, my rim exploded. All right, should I film me trying to get a lift? Is this gonna be funny? Is this guy gonna help? Poor brag. Nope. I mean, I'm not even gonna bother trying to get a car which isn't, which isn't a truck, you know? Let's see how long it takes. It's 4.41 right now, so... Let's see how long it takes to get a lift. Yo, come on, please, please, please. Poor brag. Yes. Cheers, man. I'm Joseph. Eli. Cool. Nice to meet you, man. Joseph. How far are you biking? Uh, Vancouver and San Diego. Ah. Yeah. You go north or south? South. The guy that owns the Fort Bragg Cycler, I think he lives in Albion. If you yeah. get him on the phone, he might be able to drop drop a rim off. Yeah, I literally just was in that shop in Fort Bragg to yeah. get a... Uh, Mark. Yeah, yeah, to get some energy, actually. Where are you from then? From here? Uh, born here. Yeah. Moved away. But came back to yeah. a spot to yeah, yeah. raise a family. And yeah, it seems pretty chilled. Not much pollution, fresh air coming off the ocean. You're from London? Yeah, I'm from London, yeah, all my life. Definitely not fresh air. <laughs> I think it's one of the most polluted cities in Europe. Just because it's so big. So the rim just. Oh, uh, yeah, it's just worn out from breaking. So the, uh, the alloys like got thinner and thinner. It just gave up there, so cool. Thanks All right, so safe much, travels. Guys. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> Thank you so much, man. What well, cool guy. He's taking me to the next town up. Not all the way back, but we should have phone signal here. So we're going to try that out. Yeah, we have signal! This message. Allison, see what's up. I was just reading about pepper spray laws. That's the last page I had open. Nothing weird, guys, don't worry. So this is Mendocino. Beautiful California town. Hey, mate, what's wrong? Got a little pup there. Screaming at me, and um, got Gary Johnson poster up there. I've seen two today, so that's him up to four or five in the presidential campaign counts. So just gonna wait for a reply there, and uh, might tuck in some of the food I've got because kind of peckish. Shut up. Alright guys, we've been sitting there for a while, so um dude lives just there, I was like offering me like a wheel and <laughs> just generally just like oh yeah if you want to uh sit on my uh, porch and drink a beer that's fine. And then some random dude sitting next to me. So they're sitting nearby. You too! <laughs> it's, uh, such cool people here. So I'm gonna go back up to the highway and uh try and hitch a lift before it gets dark. Just found this carabiner on the ground. You lose a rim and the inner tube and you, you gain a uh, crappy little carabiner. So, can't really complain. So there's no pedestrians on, a, on the Highway 1. So we can't actually legally get onto there to get a lift. Oh, this sucks. I'm gonna go up another road because I don't think this is a very good spot to be honest. So we may be stranded for now, but got a gorgeous sunset right there. Makes it all worth it. Hope. Oh, little dog in that car, hanging out the window. I was gonna hope that um, Alison can give me a lift and she'll be kind enough to come pick me up. Anyway, for now, we're just gonna sit back down here and loiter and whatever.
It's a lot of pumpkins. Yeah, we just got like 20 of them donated. <laughs> California life. Yeah, I got this really nice Bond Traeger wheel, but it's like yeah. the... 20 a touring wheel it's yeah like a, and i don't have a use for it i got it like years ago on like a super duper closeout the hotel no i was staying with these people is that there's a cool app called warm showers oh shit where like oh. people host psych people doing bike touring cool they got some other people staying tonight so i'm hoping people that stayed with me last night as well so i'm hoping they'll be able to let me stay again with the circumstances well, but i need not, to get you can stay here too yeah, well, I need to get back to there anyway for the bike shop to get a new wheels. There's well. a bike shop in town here too. Oh, really? Yeah, that was my first employment. <laughs> Flashing red lights. Yeah, yeah. Got, time. got a high vis jacket. And oh, I know. Okay. Well, you yeah, take care, young man. Cool. Cheers. Right, nice to meet you. Yeah. Yeah. Nice to meet you. You're <laughs> lucky right, that you right. met yeah. him. You're gonna have fun tonight. Take care of yourself. Eat Call something me. for fuck's sake. Call me. You need it. Okay. <laughs> Cheers, right. guys. See you. Bye. 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 My good friend Bubba in high school ran down this hill because there's a little speedometer at the bottom. That's how fast we're running. He went 17 miles an hour before he fell on his face. Hi, See it. So you're you're in the you're in it, man. You're you made it. I made it. How do I make it? What do I do? You're looking good, what man. What do I do to make it? What do I not do to make it? <laughs> cool, man. Thank you. <laughs> I can't see shit. With you, man. Thank you so much, man. Dude, I'm glad you stumbled upon this little uh, spot here. Nick's off the party. I'm gonna stay here and crash out. It's been amazing. It's an amazing guy. There it is. <laughs> There's the shout out. <laughs> Hell yeah. Well, next time I'm in London. <laughs> exactly, man. Today was pretty crazy. I mean, I chilled for ages and then I had the whole like, let's go to San Francisco. And then the whole like rim smashing flying apart thing happened. Then we got the hitchhiking lift. We bumped into Nick just outside here on the street. This is the house, it was in the back of all those videos of me sitting on the ground. That was me just out there. Went back to the uh, Allison's warm showers place. A bit, of a, you know, a bit of a weird vibe there. So I just stuck with, with Nick. And now I'm just here on my own. Nick's trusting enough just to let some random British dude come into his house. Hopefully Nick has a spare wheel I can buy off him. That'd just be so perfect and to get rolling tomorrow morning. This time we'll actually leave on time because so we've learned our lesson, bad karma leaving late, okay? Stay tuned. Tomorrow we're gonna start making our way to San Francisco. We've missed out on the Halloween party in San Francisco. There's surely gonna be other stuff happening though. Bye guys. Oh my god. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha